Gamers, welcome back. I'm Roboy, Grandmaster Ranked Player at the game of Risk Global Domination, and today we are Purple Paul the Peaceful. And we're gonna lure these players into a false sense of security and then bang. No Paul, no peaceful Paul for these players today. No, it's gonna be absolute drama, violence, and bloodshed. Um, I'm taking you guys over to Ottoman Empire Advanced. I've seen a lot of vampire chicken videos on this lately, and it seems very interesting. And as you guys know, these settings are what I typically play anyway. So as you can see, it's essentially just the risk meta settings with neutral AI. And uh, I love throwing these settings on various different maps. So it makes a lot of sense for me to give this a try. We are in the first position here. Let's check out these blizzards and see what we have. So there are a couple impactful blizzards here. I mean, this combination can be impactful. This one's not very impactful. This one's not very impactful. This is a highly impactful blizzard. So I do think I want to go for the right side of the board here. Um, hmm, you know, this cap is very interesting considering this other blizzard right here, or I could try to go for some sort of a split hold play by capping right here. That is very interesting. So what I'm going to go for is this bonus up in the top right called Central Asia. Um, but I think what I'd like to do here is uh, actually just consult Vampire Chicken on what the best strategy would be uh, going forward on this map. So let's go ahead and give him a call. Need, really need Vampire Chicken to answer here, guys. Yep, uh, Vampire Chicken. Hey, it's uh, Robo. Yep, so hey, I'm actually just playing on uh, Ottoman Empire Advanced right now, and um, I'm just curious what sort of a strategy you think I should go for here. No, 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 no. I thought we decided on... I, I would post Trigons on Monday, and then you could take Alcatraz on Tuesdays, and that's how we would do that. Okay, no, uh, but, okay, but I thought that's what we agreed on. Okay, well, that's fine. I, I will, uh, I will just have to adjust that, though, going forward, and then we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, well, uh, I guess Vampire Chicken Robo Beef confirmed. I'm not really sure what that was. I was hoping to call Vampire Chicken and ask him for some advice on this map, but instead we see, uh, a little bit of drama right there uh, with the, the Trigons and Alcatraz games. But uh, hey, man, we're going to try to make it happen here today, guys. We got into the rules. Let's go ahead and get into the players. In the first position, we have your boy, Robo, Grandmaster Ranked Player from the United States, a.k.a. Purple Paul the Peaceful. Not going to be so peaceful today. And also, drinking the biggest coffee cup you have ever seen in your entire life. I've been buying comically large coffee cups, and uh, it's a new hobby I have, folks. This is my biggest one yet. It says me and my big mug, if you're curious. Um, oh, we've been putting some absolute work in on this coffee, folks. It has been, it's been magical, to say the least. Um, okay, so let's think about this. Um, if I could grab this plus four and plus six, that would be insane. Um, I'm curious if this connects right here. Um, Isfahan, if this c connects to Iraq, if both of these territories connect, that's something to pay attention to. Um, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is maybe come off of here. My seven is good for another turn. Actually, you know what? Let's just get pink out of here. I don't want pink to have too much visibility, considering they're going to be our neighbor and we are doomed to war. We will war the pink player for all of eternity. Um, and then I'll come off. Actually, maybe I can get a free... No, I want, I want to have a guard there. I don't want pink to infiltrate right there, actually. So then in this case, let's do it like that, like that. And then maybe, you know, here, maybe, maybe if I can get a freebie, I can bring this three up and out. Yes, we can. And then I'm going to bring this three over here. There we go. Uh, Andrew Robinson, thank you so much for subscribing. I am not streaming right now, but I do have subscriber alerts on. So, hey, man, you never know. You might subscribe right now and be featured in a video. I might, I might be recording at this very moment as you watch this video. So, But, okay, there we go. So, hey, that's actually a pretty bananas turn one. I mean, look at how much purple we have in the top right-hand corner, Central Asia. Oh, my goodness. I'm, just, I'm, I'm still waking up here a little bit, too, guys. This is my first game of the day. This is my first time ever playing this map. And uh, it's looking like it's shaping up to be a bit of a banger. But anyway, we were getting into the players, right? So in the first position, we have your boy. In the second position, from Spain, we have the red player, Giannopoulos. In the third position, we have the pink player from the Syrian uh, Arab Republic, Jupiter1977. In the fourth position, we have the black player. Ooh, did the pink boy flag! Oh my god, that neutral AI is so much fun. I absolutely love the neutral AI. That's going to be a free cap. Um, let's see, in the fourth position, we have from the UK, uh, the black player, CJD. In the fifth position, we have the blue player, Where Was B, from the United States. And in the final position, we have the white player from Argentina, I believe. Um, or wait, that's Guatemala. Uh, the white player, 
from Guatemala, Gabanobi. 13. Those are the rules, those are the players that try to make it happen here today, folks. Um, oh my goodness, this coffee is absolutely delicious. I hope everyone is doing well today. Let me begin writing down what I can infer before things get any crazier. Um, so here, so red cap, I believe we saw over here. See, man, I, I wish I remembered to rattle this down. I think it was like Yemen. I don't think it was South Saudi. I think it was like Yemen question mark. So I'm just going to leave a question mark next to that in my notes. Uh, pink boy is our cap and they are in Afghanistan. Okay, so pink in Afghanistan and then we have black is a question mark. And then blue, we do see blue and we also see white. So blue is in Turkey and white is in Tindorf. Okay, blue, turkey, white, Tindorf. Okay, nice. So we have pretty sweet visibility here. I think what I'm going to do is go pop pop right here. So this is the game plan. And then we're going to stack against pink. And then we're going to have a guard on our bonus and then use that bonus to then slam on the following turn. That sounds like a lot of fun. So let's just make this 100% roll. And then we're going to bring this three up and out. And then we are now positioned to be able to slam pink. So look at us go, guys. Look at us go. Oh my goodness. Let me marvel at it. A turn two? Really? We got the turn two? Are you joking? Oh my goodness. Also, is red actually in South Saudi? I couldn't remember if it was South Saudi or Yemen. Um, ooh, and this connects. That's interesting to know. So that's, that's, that's probably the main thing that I'm going to have to learn on this map is what actually connects. Because I wouldn't have expected this to connect to this unless I understood what just happened right there wrong. Um, but yes, and then we will be able to keep an eye on white. So, okay, white working on the Moran Providence. We have the Ottoman Empire up there as a plus seven. That's pretty insane. But I mean, I guess it does have, let's see, one, two, three, four uh, points of entry into that bonus. So, okay, plus seven, that makes sense. Um, hmm. You know, we are actually, we're, we're actually living life right now because... Dude, we, it's supposed to be way more points of entry into this plus 10 we're going for, but now it's just going to be a one, two, three point entry, right? Am I understanding that correctly? So we have a one, one, two, oh no, I guess it's a four. Does this connect? No, I don't think it does. I don't think that this connects right here. So yeah, I think this is a three point entry considering this blizzard. So wow, dude, a three point plus 10. This could be insane. Um, you guys will have to bear with me though as I just as I learn this map. I've seen a couple games on it. And obviously, I watched Vampire Chickens games. And feel free to go and uh, subscribe to him as well if you haven't. He's a very very good creator. I think I think one of Vampire Chickens' strengths that I really enjoy is I would say he's one of the best orators that we have in the Risk uh, scene. It's a really impressive talent to be able to speak for a very long period of time and not have gaps and deliver meaningful information and keep it entertaining it's very difficult it's something that you have to practice and get very good at so i think he does a very good job at it i think his i think his content is very entertaining um so yeah and i mean this list you know and as you guys know on the channel we're just kind of going through all the maps putting the risk meta settings on it and having a lot of fun i've been trying to give you guys a lot of variety on the channel lately and so this map is gonna is gonna come up eventually and uh, these are the settings that I love most. So it just makes sense that I'd give it a try. Um, so yeah, and it looks like white might be trying to take this bonus here soon. Plus five and Maureen Providence or province. Province, right? Yes. Okay. Still trying to learn the bonuses here. North Africa is a plus six. East Africa is a plus three. Black is still a question mark. We haven't really been seeing a whole lot of black. It's possible that they're down here and may potentially go to war with red soon. Um, where else could they be? I suppose they could be in North Africa as well. Okay, so we have nine. So what this means is GG to pink. That's what that means. And then we're going to bring this three, or this two, rather, up and out and make that a four. Now, eventually, the red player does come looking, you have to think. Um, but they're going to see this three and maybe not push through because it doesn't really benefit them to go to war with pink, right? Pink's not holding any cards. So... We will have to see, but we remove pink's cap. Um, even if that's a failed roll, I still just want to whittle it down. Do you know what I mean? Because pink putting troops on that every single turn is going to be more annoying the longer we let that go. So now pink is starting with three. Um, I'll be very curious to see if maybe we can line up this pink kill here, but it seems doubtful, right? Because 
white hasn't worked on clearing out this area so pink could be like over here they could have like a one over here they could be in this pocket yeah see they're getting three per turn they're only putting one right here so you know pink could have a one over here over here so i think what's going to happen is just the pink kill is just randomly gonna randomly gonna happen um and it doesn't really benefit us too much to take it considering there's no cards there so Let's begin thinking what our game plan is going to be. What is blue starting with? Let's start. Let's begin keeping tabs on everyone, right? So um, blue is still starting with five. That's important because they are bordering our seven cap, right? So, okay, and they're still starting with five. Perfect. This is good. This is very, very good. Um, I, I need to be friendly with blue. I don't want blue to fear what's going on over here on the top side of the board. Uh, yeah, you put it all right there. Okay, nice. So you're just going to begin working on Ottoman Empire a little bit more. Uh, working on that seems futile. That just seems so silly to me because, I mean, dude, you're bordering red, you're bordering white, and then you have to think that black is coming up through here as well, right? Something like that. I believe that the board is shaping up to be something like that. And then we should just be able to chill over here in our corner. Have a cheeky little one, two, three point hold. And then I think we're chilling after that. I definitely think we're chilling. I think what I want to do for this turn is just keep our cap pretty strong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous about opening up South Saudi, though. So maybe I just take one more turn here to try to get a little bit stronger. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take one more turn here, keep my cap strong, and then I will go looking when it benefits me most when I can use these extra troops to have a little bit more of a defensive hold against the red player when I finally open them up. I don't want to like push through, open them up and have a one right here as red realizes they can come up and, and break all my stuff. So we're just going to make this a 10. We're going to make, let's see, actually here, we're going to do it like this. Let's make this a 12. That's what we're going to break. Let's make this a 10. Break blue, and then we come back. So, um, blue did some attacking. I'm not sure if they took that bonus, but we're not going to allow them to have that. Okay, red set. So this is good. So I'm glad I didn't push through and open up red and then not have a very strong defensive hold over here, right? Now I think on the following turn, we'll be able to hold down this plus six. Now that red has burned their set, we'll be able to hold down this plus six on a two-point hold so long as we don't open up the red player's cap. That's kind of... What's going through my mind right now is, oh gosh, I'm, I'm kind of regretting not writing that stuff down on the first turn. Sometimes I get to laying the foundation for the video and talking to the camera and I can miss some things. So, but I'm feeling pretty good about everything else on this board, all other things considered, right? Um, ah, I need to remove pink soon because every single troop they put there is just more pain for me. Oh my gosh, this coffee cup is actually insane, dude. I can fit my entire hand in that. This is insane. I don't even, I don't even remember how many ounces it is. It's like 40 ounces. It's something ridiculous. It's insane. Um, but okay, so. Pink player taking a long time on their draft here. Oh my goodness. This neutral AI usually just puts, puts their troops down, goes, and then moves on. I don't know why this is taking so long here. Maybe we're experiencing some latency, or I don't know. Is pink player back? I am so confused. I think the pink player came back. And then now they're gone again. Okay, interesting. I, I don't... I, oh! All three go right there. That's really annoying. Oh, I need to just remove pink from there. I mean, I'm going to have to burn through... I burn through seven troops to get a plus six. After two turns, it becomes profitable, right? So... That's considering nobody else has any troops right here or right here. Red burn their set, though. I think it's time. Think it's time let's see what blue wants to do here let's see if blue stacks against my cap i feel like red taking an early set was a horrible horrible play um you have to imagine that when a player does that they're trying to make a meaningful play um is nobody else being allowed to hold a bonus right now black is holding an eight we can infer a lot about black now so they have east africa so we were correct about that okay so black is east africa question mark medium confidence And now blue wants to stack against my cap to prevent me from breaking there. They make that a 5. If they set on their next turn, they could make that a 10. And then they could add, let's see, on a worst case scenario, they could add... Nope, that's about it. Uh, they could make it like an 18 or a 16. So 
I think I'm going to let that rock for one more turn. I don't think blue swings me, considering how weak the sets are right now. Let's just see if I can hold this plus two. I'm very curious what troops we're going to have on Herman Shah and Isfahan. And it's not time to set just yet. Um, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, there's pink. And do we see the red cap when we take this next area? No, we don't see the red player's cap. That is fantastic. Ooh, that was kind of a... That was kind of risky. I'm going to make both of these fives. Red can't set. And now I'm going to fist bump and see if the red player can accept that fist bump. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Knights? Nice. Cards hate me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so... I'll, I'll have to see on this turn... On my next turn, if Isfahan connects to Iraq, I'm pretty curious about that. Because it could mean that if I need to have a one-point hold, I could just put everything on Isfahan and then, you know, just give up this plus six in the event that I just need to have a... Okay, nice. So we are going to be allowed to hold that. We are going to be getting so many troops here, guys. Holy shit. Holy shit, a plus ten from Central Asia and Asia Minor. Okay. Wow. This is shaping up to be a bit of a banger. Yes, this is shaping up. Is black still starting with 8? Yes, they are. Red starting with 12, that's because they are being allowed to hold uh, Arabia. So they have their plus 5 and they have their plus 7. I don't need to address red. I believe blue and black will do that for me. Um, ooh, Arabia is kind of a... If you can come to good terms with the other players, that's kind of a good bonus. Depending on like the blizzards and where you cap, it can be an easier hold because you have how many entry points? One... Two, three, four, five. If you were to get like a blizzard, like right here, you cap here, and then you just have these, and then let's maybe you ally blue. It can be, it can be, you know, hmm. For what I'm saying is for that size of a bonus, it's a plus seven. Like, ooh, that could be a fun little challenge to go for in the future. Try to get blizzards that make holding that in the center of the board a little bit easier. That is interesting. Um, white has five, meaning they, or white's getting plus six, meaning they do not have a bonus. They have their cap still over in Morin province, and they have their territory bonus. Giving them an extra troop. Okay, now we set. Red can't set, and so I think I will break red. I think it's time for me to go to war with red. And we will prevent red from having a bonus while we hold a bonus. White going to war with blue is huge. I think that dealing with red makes the most sense as they are sandwiched in the middle of the board. And then we were saying that their cap was like on Yemen or something. Okay. So we have to do... Wait, Isfahan versus... No, yeah, we want Isfahan. Um, let's make this a 10. Make this a 12. And then red is not going to be able to break... Actually, no, they can still try if they do, if they have that. We go here. No slider is a sign of disrespect. And then we come back. Okay, so red is not going to be allowed to hold that, and we are not going to open up their cap. And they can't set. And we have two caps that are 10+. plus. So we're doing really, really well. White is preventing blue, and I am preventing red. And black should kind of do a little bit of everything, we're thinking. Although if everybody begins fighting with each other and Black doesn't, and they manage to grab North Africa and East Africa, that could be bad. But it's still nothing in comparison to our Giga Hold up here. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to continue breaking this every single turn. And we will be ahead of Red in the sets, so that's great. Black should set, and then what? And what do we see? Wow, these we managed to get these bonuses so early to where we are just such a powerhouse in the early game, man. A plus 10 that early on this map is insane. From the games that I've seen, people typically don't let you hold bonuses. So, but I like to play in a little bit more of a snowball-y fashion. So if I can manage to grab it, I will. You know what I mean? 
And I think that our cap up here made it a lot easier as well as the pink person uh, botting out. It kind of made for an interesting opening sequence, but... um. Okay, black doing a lot of attacking here is very interesting. It could be them grabbing North Africa. Starting with eight. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay very close attention on the following turn. And then if red ever sets, sets are gonna be up to like 20 plus by the time they set. So we're gonna have to take a turn to probably keep our caps strong here. Also, let's write down that we saw blue on Turkey. I think, or no, no, we, we saw that earlier. Yeah, we saw that earlier in the game. That's right. So we knew that that was blue's cap. Okay. White starting with 11 means that they did manage to get more in province. Um, we saw on their last turn that blue was crying. So it's possible that there's still friction there between white and blue. Okay, and there we go. So black is now mad at white. I think what happened there is... Black did a lot of attacking on their last turn, right? So we knew they were down here. I think that they were doing a lot of attacking, clearing this out. And by the time they were done, they didn't have such a strong guard over here. And white seems to be insane, causing problems with blue. And yes, now white is not going to cause problems for black. Black is saying good game. I'm going to say thanks. <laughs> okay, so let's do it like this. We need to ensure that these caps are still strong, right? Let's keep all of that very strong. No slider as a sign of disrespect. Lose four. And uh, actually, I think I just want to sit... No, I don't want to sit that right there. I want to move back. I've stopped messing with blue. I think that white can cause problems for blue. So I don't think that there's anything I have to do there. Um, oh, I keep forgetting to check this territory to see if that connects. Um, ooh, red is now... Red is now... Skipping a card? Whoa! Why would you card skip there? What? I guess red is just turtling now that they realize that the purple player is a menace to society? What is going on there? Hmm. That's, that seems like a really bad play. I mean, you should just take a card there and then not guard with four troops, right? Just, or maybe, maybe red's hoping that I open their cap so they can slam me. Maybe that's what they're doing. But if I'm red, what I do is I just keep taking a card right here, except that purple's not going to let me hold it, leave it a one, come back, and then you're not guarding in the same way, but you are able to take a card to be able to punch me. Like, not taking a card there doesn't make any sense, I don't think. Not when the sets are this big, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't really get that. Um, hmm. And blue, were they able to hold this? Oh yeah, blue is, is holding a plus 12. Wow, so they're... White is allowing them to hold the Ottoman Empire. Interesting. Very interesting. Now blue takes a look. I think I want to attack one more time and see over here to see if black is over here. I'm thinking they are, but white starting with 11, black starting with 8. So yeah, the friction that we were seeing before was white not allowing black to hold North Africa. That's what that means. Red, red, uh, you know, wow. Was that a card skip again? What is going on? Did we just see white card skip? I'm going to hold on to my set until I need to punch somebody and figure out what the next course of action is here. Um, let's just continue beefing all this up. And then... Yes, this is good. This is very good. This is very good. Okay, I have a set on the next turn. You know, considering... Considering red... I wonder how weak their cap is. I wonder if I could push red out of this game. It'd be on four cards. It would set me. I'd get a double set, right? So I could set... I mean, dude, I, I feel like red's probably got a weak cap. They were not able to hold this early in the game. How far back can I see? Red was starting with five. Yeah, so by the time the sets came around, they were still starting with five. And if they, and if they had frictions early with blue and red, hmm, I might take a swing on red's cap here. And I, and I think I could get the red kill because this is all blue, this is all white, this is all black. I think red is in the middle of the board now. 
I would set for 20. I'm holding a plus 10, and I have a 15 as a launching point. I think I might try to kill red here. It would help push the game along. And then I would come back and I would just, well, I'd probably just guard on that cap. At what point do the players turn against me, though? Like, at what point do I become too strong? Um, I'm going to lose a lot of troops there, but to get a double set when the, when the uh, trades are starting to pick up is, can be very good. Um, hmm. And then what? I wonder how weak black is. I mean, black did a lot of attacking here, but white was breaking them. They only had a plus three. Yeah, see, and white is continuing to break. Um, let me see. So... Caspian versus... Yeah, that's fine. I can do... Oh, well, actually, here. I need to put all these back into the deck to increase my chances of getting a back-to-back -back set. Uh, let's let's open up uh, Red Boy here and see what's going on. Oh, hello there. What is that? 61? I'll be taking that, Red. I'll be taking that. Um, and then let's do it like this. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to have somewhat of a guard, right? And then... Alright, so we get the coin flick. Look, it's called, it's called Risk, folks. It's called the game of Risk. That's what it's called. Um, and then we do it like this. Increase our chances of getting those back into the deck again. And now what? Blue is still pretty crazy. I wonder if I can force blue... I wonder if I can force blue. Hmm. I probably can't. Do these players allow me to hold this, I wonder? They probably don't if they know what's good for them. Yeah, they probably don't. Let's just see if I can get away with this, though. Wow, imagine if I can get away with that. Holy shit. Black slams. I mean, the thing is also another reason why I'm taking this risk here is that I think black has more tensions with white and blue. And so, yeah, I think this could be very good. And blue also doesn't have a set. What are blue's other options? It could go into white um, because also blue is seeing the friction that's happening between black and white. So then maybe blue takes this opportunity to go into white. Oh my gosh, if you guys let me hold this, a plus 17, holy shit. You guys cannot let me hold this. Oh, and I have a set too, if somebody wants to try to punch me. I have three caps, I'm a huge problem. I'm a huge problem. I need to push this game along though. I want to continue being aggressive here and find what the next target is going to be. It looks like blue is not going to let me hold that. I think I will just continue beefing that up to make it difficult for blue to punch me if they if they choose to hit my seven here. I can see that black is bordering them here, so I can always just work to make that harder for blue to hit than, than black, right? But I'm getting so many troops per turn, I can afford to make it really annoying to hit me. Like, although I have, let's look at my borders here. I have one, two, three, four, five borders. Five borders, but getting a plus 17 per turn, I can afford to beef up my borders. It's fine. And then I will just use my caps to, or I will use my sets to stabilize my caps and things like that. On this next set, I think I'm going to make all of, my, all of my caps 30, beef up my borders, and then I need to take a card somewhere. Who do I take it on? Um, I think black is probably my best, my best bet because I'm thinking long term here. If I break black, and then I can hold this, it, it, it continues to stabilize. And also, we know that there was tensions between white and blue. So I think going into black is my best bet here. I, I, can, I can be sandwiched if I go into blue. So here, let's just do it like this. I'm going to set... Okay, and then I think that black probably bots out here soon. This is really, really annoying to deal with if you're the black player. I need, oh, and then you're gonna break me from there. Oh no, you're gonna continue going into white. Yeah, so the friction between white and black at this point 
is just too much to overcome. So, and then what did, what did Black start with there? Yeah, you're starting with five now. That's awesome. <laughs> Cards hate me. <laughs> oh, dude, it sucks so bad to be the Black player. For my position, though, it's just so much better. It's so much better for me to go into Black because this whole thing that I have going on right here with Blue still works if I add this to my pocket, right? And then I can inch my way up. And then every single turn that passes increases the chances of white attacking into blue. Like they're, they're attacking into black primarily from what I can see, but I mean, them attacking into blue is, is everything. So now I don't know where black's cap is. That's the issue. I have no idea. If I attack the wrong way and black's cap is two bananas, what are the sets for? They're for 45? I think I'm gonna try... I'm gonna leave those as 10s. If somebody wants to break me, it's, it's, it's whatever. Um, there's your cap. You're on four cards? That's not good enough. If you were to set... If you were to set, you could make that quite a lot. If you pushed through, it would end your game, though, so I don't think you do. I'm just gonna leave it there. Do I have a set? Oh, I have a set! I could try to kill Black if Black- Ooh, if Black doesn't- Black doesn't have a set, I kill Black here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna set, kill Black, set. Yeah. I'm gonna set, kill Black, set. And then what? Um, uh, maybe kill White. Maybe kill White and then go into the 1v1 with Blue. And I have three caps that are essentially the size of blue, right? Like, it's, it's, oh my goodness. I, I am in such a dominant position on the board, especially after I kill black. Wow. This is dominance. This is dominance on this map. Holy. Uh, wow, that's so unlucky, man. To not have a set on four, I mean, 75 to an 80% chance you have a set on four, and then a 40% chance that I have a set on three. Dude. This is an extremely lucky turn for me that will allow the game to be pushed forward. So I can't be happier with that. And we were saying that White's cap was on Tindorf right here. So I can always break and then just card block on these two territories. So White's a pretty easy two point card block. Okay, yeah, now I kill Black and then I don't think I can kill white, but I might be able to kill uh, and then what do I want to do? I'm going to have to fortify everything back onto this cap, I think no, I want to go up from here yep get that now I set and then I'm gonna go and probably how do I want to do this oh shit I have to do it like that that sucks Jordan versus North I think I want to do North Saudi okay let me see if I can get white it wouldn't yeah it would set me so I think it's worth considering they've been fighting the most I think that's the best play uh, let me just go look at your cap first. Oh, GG. Yeah. And then I'm gonna need to split this like this. And then let's just position this to be able to hit blue. Uh, are we gonna get every bounty? I think we might. We might get every bounty here, folks. Oh my goodness, I'm still waking up here too. That's pretty crazy. Well, as I said, guaranteed, I might need to take a turn to stabilize. Um, I have to break from here. I might just take a swing. No, I, it's not enough. And I can't risk blue getting like a cap run or something. Let's fortify this. What's a more useful cap for me? Probably right here as a future launching point. Okay, so blue has the capability to take one cap. They do not have a bonus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say good game. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say good game here. No set on four is tragic. And if blue has a set on three, when I do not have a set on four, this gets messy. Don't get it wrong, folks. The sets are so big. This does get really messy. Oh, you're going through. Oh, you made yourself so weak. You can feel it. Uh, you 
got to break all my bonuses, my friend. You open up my 60, that's great. You lock your stack. Ooh, that was a horrible play. Blue player is very, very bad. Um, oh, and then they just step off cap. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get the Capital Conquest and the word Dom at the same time. So um, this is going to be a little bit painful for blue, so I apologize. I'm going to try my best to... Ah, shit. I fucked that up. Um, damn it. Uh, I don't think I can get it here. I can go off my 30. And then, no, because I have to break from there. I fucked that up. Um, shit. Oh, shit. God. I'm trying to get- I'm trying to world on the blue pa player, and I know that that's not super enjoyable for them, but it's the style points, guys. I have to. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, Blue. I'm sorry. I'm trying to world dom you. I know, I know, I know. One more turn, one more turn. I'm sorry. Uh, if Blue has a set, though, this does get messy. Sets are for 65. You can't, you can't break everything. But I've got to get the world dom. It is what it is, folks. The world dom and the Capital Conquest victory at the exact same time. You guys know how this works. Um, I could have split my... No, because even if I don't split my set, then I can't break the 90. Oh my goodness, this map is very interesting. I'm excited to try it again. Um, I might try it again later this week, or you might get another one of these next week as I continue to try to figure it out, right? Um, but okay, yeah, now we're gonna go from up here, and let's not waste the blue player's time any further here, folks. So that is a good game. That is a well-played Robo Love. And ladies and gentlemen, we're still waking up here a little bit. More Daily Race videos are on the way very soon. Oh my gosh, that was a blast. Let's check out these players' ranks. And see what we got going out, going on here, guys. Paul the Peaceful. We lured them in with to a false sense of security with our peaceful with our peaceful name. No, no, we are actually a savage on the map. Defeating uh, two beginners or two novices, one beginner, one expert, one master. Wait, beginner not? Oh, we're missing the intermediate, and we would have had the royal flush with the grandmaster. Robo, ladies and gentlemen, that was a very fun one. Uh, more daily risk videos on the way very soon, and I'll see you guys on the next one.